Hi guys, hope you're well and coping okay in self-isolation. My name is Rebecca Louisa Smith and I am the film festival doctor. This little video today is designed for you with regards to an update on the COVID-19 pandemic with regards to the film festival world. And I'll be offering you today some tips regarding how to adjust your film festival campaign and your plans around the COVID-19 pandemic and also giving you reassurance of the festivals, not all of them are getting cancelled, they're getting either rescheduled or going online and I've got some exciting new dates to tell you and share with you today to put in your diaries. So as I mentioned just now, I want to do a massive reassurance to you that not every single film festival is getting cancelled. They're either being rescheduled for a later date that will take place live in the year or they're going to go online at their intended dates. Now, some festivals have unfortunately had to cancel due to many reasons, not just because of COVID-19, that's a big thing, but because they couldn't reschedule at a later date because of reasons such as funding and venues, etc. They all play a role in that. Um, as you know, sadly, South by Southwest had to cancel and I was actually there in San Ho I was in, actually in a festival in San Jose, the Cinequest Film Festival, when that news broke and we were all like shocked to the core and absolutely numb because obviously that's a massive film festival. But it also made us realise just how much of an impact COVID-19 is going to have to film festivals because during that festival at Cinequest, halfway through, it got rescheduled to August because of the same reason. Um, but luckily, South by Southwest did announce online their winners, which is fantastic and very exciting, showing what great talent is, is there. Um, and also, sadly, the Flatpak Film Festival had to cancel too, but that'll be back next year, a great one in Birmingham, UK. And San Luis Obispo also had to cancel too. But again, they're all going to be back next year to start afresh. Um, so keep your eyes open for those call for submissions. But around, I'd say, what's coming in now every day in our inboxes, around 90% of festivals are getting rescheduled and those dates will come towards the end. Um, so the key thing for you to do between now and when film festivals get back up and running is very detailed planning. And if you work with me or know me, you know how much I love to plan. And spreadsheets come into this too, by the way. So get Excel installed on your computer right now. The key thing to plan now, in addition to putting together your film festival strategy, is your cash flow and budgets. How much can you put aside now, in light of what's going on, to spend later on in the year? So for example, that would include working with me, um, film festival submission fees, travel, accommodation, and all of the expenses that will be incurred on your travels. So that's obviously food, drink, accreditation, Uber, Lyft, wherever you're going to be, if you're going to be in the US, those kind of things, hiring a car. Um, so really now be precise and thorough and make sure that you've pretty much now got every um, box ticked in terms of where your money will be spent later on in the year when film festivals get back up and running. 